Hello, and welcome to another episode of A Dramatic Soprano <laughs> Cooking. Today, I am returning to my newest cookbook, Avatar The Last Airbender, the official cookbook, to make blueberry cookies. Yum, 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 yum. recipe you're gonna need some lard or refined coconut oil sugar blueberries of course they're called blueberry cookies flour baking powder and salt that's it and if you want to be a little extra you know have a little tea for uncle iroh mine's a hot toddy but i assume uncle iroh's tea was sometimes spiked as well cheers I feel like I should have some words of wisdom for you like Uncle Iroh would, but I'm not as wise, so I'm not gonna try. First thing you gotta do is put the paddle ah, on the mixer. Then mix a half a cup of lard. <laughs> I have never cooked with lard before. Except maybe, I think one time in elementary school where I made like scones for like um, a project about England. A history project. And a half a cup of sugar. Together! Mix it! Mix it! Mix it together! Then take two cups of blueberries. Might be slightly under two cups. I'd originally ordered a 16 ounce container of blueberries, but apparently they didn't have it, so. My Whole Foods order switched it to a pint. Oh wait, nope! A pint apparently is 16 ounces? Question mark? Let me know in the comments if you know. Then you're gonna stick them in the microwave for two minutes or until jammy. That's what the directions say. Jammy. Let's see if they're jammy. Eh, I think they need a little more time. We'll go like 30 seconds. They're soft, but not jammy. Okay. Let's try this again. I think we've reached jammy. Oh, that was hot. Now you gotta let it cool for two minutes before adding it to your large sugar mixture thing. You mix it till smooth. I think we're at smooth. I probably should have let my berries cool just a little longer. They were still hot, which I assume the reason you're not supposed to put it in when it's hot is because that will melt the lard. Now you're gonna gradually add a cup and a fourth of flour. A teaspoon of baking powder. And a fourth a teaspoon of salt. Preheat the oven to 350. Wait! Stop preheating up your oven! Always read the directions. Oh wait, that could be my Uncle Iroh's. Word of advice, always read the directions while cooking. Before you put them in the oven, you gotta chill the batter for 30 minutes or until more easily shapeable. Into the fridge, it goes instead. Into the fridge for 30 minutes. I got too much stuff in my fridge. While that's chilling, let's read the fun little description for the recipe. A lot of people don't realize that blueberries grow wild in the Arctic. I wonder if that's true. There's nothing more amazing than summertime in the South Pole, when the sun barely sets on the horizon and the blueberries are everywhere. The end of the war has brought far more deliveries of Earth Kingdom flour to the water nation. And now we make cookies with wild berry too. Wild blueberry too. <laughs> if you saw my kale cookie recipe, which you can find right here. You'll know that this book has divided its recipes into the four nations, plus the Jasmine Dragon Tea Shop. If you wanna see any of these recipes, pause the video now and tell me what you wanna see in the comments. Now, preheat the oven to 350. For real this time. First off, I had to leave this in the fridge for more than 30 minutes. It's been about an hour. It is still kind of, 
I don't know if I would call that pliable. The directions do say you should be able to shape the cookie batter by hand into approximately two and a half inch flat discs. I'm gonna give it a shot with a spatula because if you've watched this show before, you know I'm not a patient person and it's late. That's why the curtain is closed today. I am tired, so we're gonna try it. We're gonna suck at this. We're gonna give these five little guys a go and see how it turns out. The directions do say you need to leave about one inch in between each cookie because they're supposed to expand. You're gonna bake it for 15 minutes or until the cookie is no longer doughy at the center, but soft and cake-like. So if these don't work out, <laughs> I'm gonna pour it in a cake pan because I'm tired. Yeah, that didn't work. That didn't work. Nope, going back to our mixture here. Um, some of it is starting to get a little more like pliable. <laughs> oh, the parts are still really goopy. I think I'm gonna leave it overnight and then try tomorrow. Cause I think this takes a lot more time to actually become pliable. Definitely flat now. It's not quite cakey. <laughs> let's, let's try. That tastes like lard. That, that tastes like straight lard. Straight lard. It's a piece with a little more blueberry. I don't know if it will taste different if it rises. See you tomorrow morning and we'll see what happens. New day! Hopefully this try will be better today. Let's check on dough, cookie batter. I don't know what it is. Oh, that is definitely more solid. Okay, that we can work with. All right, so now I'm gonna make those <laughs> two and a half inch flat discs. Here we go. That took considerably longer than the one hour the direction said. Say one hour, they said 30 minutes. That was incredibly messy. Well, let's see if these ones turn out any better. This take two was not much better. They rose a little bit, but they're still like super gloppy. That looks nothing like that. Did I do something wrong? I keep looking at the ingredients like, did I leave something out? Approximately half a cup of lard or refined coconut oil. Approximately half a cup of white sugar. Two cups of blueberries. A cup and a fourth of all-purpose flour. One teaspoon of baking powder. I did it! And the salt. I, I did it all! Maybe that's what they look like with coconut oil? I bet it's probably gonna taste the same as yesterday too. I'm curious now, like, does the coconut oil make it look like this? Maybe it's the lard. Maybe I have the wrong type of lard. The last time, like I said, I did remember, the last time I used lard which was in middle school for a history project. And I made scones from lard and I remember the lard wasn't in a jar, it was like in a little, almost like butter-like box. So maybe it's the lard? Maybe I have the wrong type of lard. Okay, let's give these another try and see. I think they barely rose, so I don't think there's gonna be much of a taste difference. Like. It's just not appealing. That's a little more blueberry. Uh-oh. -uh. Okay, that was better. My hands are so greasy after it. Let me just see. Mm, no. No. These are not for me. I would not recommend these cookies. I'm curious to know. I think they definitely would taste better with coconut oil. I am not a lard person, I guess. Um, if you've had these cookies and like them, let me know. And let me know if I'm using the wrong type of lard. Or if anyone got them to be poofy, they're supposed to be a cake-like texture, and this is definitely not. Maybe, maybe I went wrong. Maybe I should have really let the blueberries cool more. Maybe that was my downfall, but I'm gonna give this one a, a zero out of 10. <laughs> Worst rating ever. I don't think I would make it in the South water tribe. This is what I would eat all the time. Well, thanks for stopping by today. That was an epic fail from the Avatar book. If you've been able to make them look like the picture, please let me know. 
Or if you try it with coconut oil, I may try them again with coconut, refined coconut oil to see if it's any better, but that was the worst cookie I think I've ever had in my life. And that's not an understatement. If you like this episode, make sure to like and subscribe. And if there's something you want to see from this book, let me know in the comments. See you next time.